Okay, Olympia, I just recorded uh, before I realized I didn't have my mic on. So I'm going to try this again. I just uh, spent a few minutes explaining uh, the situation here. I think I know that what the problem is. If you go into your Word document at the top where it says View, select the navigation pane so it appears at the on the left-hand side of your screen. Now, know that this pane will show all of the headings that will also appear in your table of contents. So this is, again, an easy way, I think, to go in and make sure that your text has been formatted correctly. Notice here under method, this level one heading is, cor is correct in terms of the font style that you have selected. But also check all level two headings throughout your entire document in your literature review, method section, and results and discussion to make sure that all of your level two headings also have the level two file or font st uh, style. And that's this one right here. So this is a level one, this is a level two. Okay, so double check all of that. Now the problem with the text is similar in that if you check your font style, you have this set at level two. And that's why it appears in your navigation pane. And this is why it appears in your table of contents. So to remove it, all you need to do is select the normal font style. Now to, to check the, your font style, because when you are copying pasting text from another document, it also will copy and paste the formats. And sometimes when we copy and paste into our template, it actually changes the format that was originally set in the original template. So in this case, what you're gonna to need to do at the very end is go to normal, the font style, and you're, need, you're gonna to need to modify it. So select modify, format, paragraph. Make sure that you have the line spacing set at double. Make sure that your spacing before and after paragraphs are set at zero. And make sure the checkbox is selected or checked off where it says don't add space between paragraphs. Now, once you do this, and again, make sure that your text is selected when you do this, but this will check or change the actual style format, and this should then apply to your entire document. But you will need to go and select all the text that has been, that is currently set at level two he uh, heading, and that's why it appears both in your navigation pane and also in your table of contents. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, let me know.